Hey guys, Will here, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to use the powerful new upscale feature inside of Media Place. Let's go ahead and dive in and see how this works. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select one of my pictures here, and in the top right corner, you'll see you have the option for upscale. So we're gonna go ahead and click on that, and it opens up the upscale features, right? So the first thing you wanna do is, let's go ahead and talk about some of the features and the layouts that you have available to you. So at the top here, you got format. You can save these out as JPEGs, PNGs, or WebP photos. You can uh, have access to adjust the quality and you have two different model types, right? So generic photo falls under um, like a live action type of photo, right? So humans, animals, that types of things, more natural photos, that is what a generic photo falls under, right? So if you wanna upscale something like this, keep it on generic photo. If you wanna do digital art, which applies to vectors, graphics, um, anything generated by a computer, that would be um, the digital art model, okay? Now you have several options for upscaling. You can upscale um, times two all the way to times four, which is really awesome. And then down below you can see, so with this picture, this is my current resolution. It's 350 by 350. And if I was to upscale it as is, the new resolution would be 1400 by 1400. So it gives you an idea of what it's, what it, where it's at and where it's going to. All right, so the first thing that will happen though, when you use this for the very first time, um, let's say that I make this generic photo and I wanna go PNG. Let's click on upscale with AI and you'll have to download a small little downloadable packet. Um, it's 128 megabytes, nothing big. Just go ahead and hit download and it'll download one of six packets for you. And when it's done, it's done. You don't have to do it again. That's it, right? All right, so now let's go ahead and see what the power of the upscale tool can do for us. So right now, this is what my owl looks like. Um, so he's at 350 by 350 pixels, right? So let's go ahead and do a four times upscale. So I'm gonna hit upscale with AI and over the course of several seconds, it will then do a nice upscale for me. So now you can see here is what the owl looked like before. And now we've get this nice upscaled image, which is really powerful, right? So all this is based straight into Media Place. So you don't have to leave it. You can keep your photos and all of your stuff organized inside a Media Place. And then you're still able to harness the power of this upscaling feature, which is awesome. Now, the other side that you can do here is, say we wanna overwrite this, right? We can say this is new, and it'll save the original 350 by 350, and then it'll give us the new uh, version that we have here, right? Now, if I overwrite this and hit overwrite, it opens back up inside of our upscale um, window here, and I can do another upscale from there. So you can keep the cycle going over and over again, right? Now, note that when you do have a large image, you will get this kind of warning here. It'll say this image already has a big resolution. So the upscaling process starts to slow down the larger the image you have, right? So we could go and upscale this. Right now it's 1400 by 1400. And if I was to upscale this guy again, we'd get a new resolution of 5600 by 5600, right? So you can do the same thing, keep upscaling. So it's just a really cool feature that allows you to kind of play around with it and really enhance the photos that you have. All right, so let's go back out and exit to the main here. And let's go ahead and try a different one. Let's try this car, for example. So I'm gonna go here, it's a JPEG, and right now it's sitting at 350 by 471. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and click on upscale again, and let's go ahead and punch in so we can see what we're looking at. And then let's go ahead and keep a generic photo. I'm gonna go PNG, and let's scale it by four times again. So again, here's my current resolution, and at the end of this, it's gonna be 1400 by 1884. So let's go ahead and upscale that and see what that looks like. All right, so there you can already see the difference. It's really incredible, actually. So it, there's the old on the left side here, and then here is the new upscaled version, right? So super powerful, awesome way to take low-res photos that you have and upscale them and make them more impactful. Again, maybe you thought they were done, um, maybe you thought it wasn't gonna work for you. Now you have the opportunity using this awesome upscale AI feature inside of Media Place to enhance your photos and bring them to life again. All right, so let's go ahead and let's save this um, that's not overrated this time. Let's just save it as a new and we can actually rename this and let's call this car upscale. And if I hit save here, it'll then save it to our library. If I exit out, you'll see that here is the upscaled car and then here is the 350 by 471 version, right? So I can then with this option, I have the ability to go back and if I need to make tweaks for something else, I can go do that in the original, but there is the new saved upscaled version here in the top right. All right, so now let's work with this portrait here, right? So let's take this image, and this is a small file too. We'll go back to the upscale. And this 
is a 373 by 560 photo, right? So let's see how this works with a person. All right, so let's go with the PNG right here. And then I'm gonna leave my uh, quality at 100. And again, this is a, a person, so we're gonna keep our model at generic photo. And let's go ahead and resize this by four times. All right, so let's go ahead and hit upscale with AI. And then again, just takes a few seconds and then it upscales for you really fast. And so now you can already see, so here's the original and then here is the upscaled version. So again, really powerful features inside of Media Place that allow you to enhance the photos you have to an even better scale. All right, so let's go ahead and exit out back to our main library here and let's work with some digital art. All right, so let's go ahead and select this image of this robot here, right? So right now, uh, let's go to upscale. And this guy's sitting at 300 by 305 pixels, right? So you can see he's pretty, pretty pixelated a little bit. He's not as clear. Um, let's just clean him up a little bit. Maybe we want to use this for the web and we want to make sure that this is a nice clean image, right? So let's go ahead and change our model to digital art. And we're going to save it out as a JPEG. And we're going to resize this and scale it up four times again. So it's going to go from 300 to 1200 by 1220, right? All right, so let's go ahead and hit upscale with AI. And again, it takes mere seconds. And then here you go. You can already see. Let's punch in a little bit. And you can see that here's the original. And then here is the upscaled version. So you can see from a distance, you may not see it. But when you really get in there, it... It's doing, it's doing a lot of things. It's really powerful, all right? So this is using digital art, right? And again, we can save this out as a new or we can overwrite it and hit overwrite. And you can see we can go back into that cycle again like we showed in the previous example where right now it's 1200 by 1220, which is what we scaled it up to. And then we could give it a new resolution if we wanted to scale it again. Um, and again, one more time for that note, if you're upscaling larger images, it'll give you this little kind of warning um, you can still do it. It just may take a little longer because the image is taking a while to process because it's so large. All right, so let's go back out to the main library here and let's work on one more digital art image here. And we've got the picture of this, this boat here in the sunset and we've got some mountains in the background. It's looking a little, definitely a little pixelated, right? So let's go to upscale and we've got, it sets to 300 by 218, right? So let's go ahead and change it to digital art and let's save it as a PNG this time. And we're gonna scale it up by four times and it's gonna go from 300 by 218 to 1200 by 872, so, right? So let's go ahead and select upscale with AI. And then, bam, there you go, you can see it. So here is the original and then here is the upscaled version. All right, so super powerful features inside of Media Place using the upscale features. All right, so this has been a really good in-depth look at how the upscale feature works and how it can really enhance the workflow and the images that you have. All right, so stay tuned for future tutorials, and as always, keep creating.